Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Thank Good you. evening. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And you? Stressed out. Very stressed out. What is that? Stressed. Uh, um, stressed. Super estresado. Super estresado. Yes. No, stress up. Stress ah. out. That's the the same meaning. Estresado. Stress. Why? Out. Why? Too much, too much work. Too much work. But. Almost, almost, almost vacation. We are very close to vacation, to Christmas time. Plans for Christmas? No plans. No plans. No. Chumpe. No. Tamales. No tamales. Sándwiches de jamón. Pierna de cerdo. Tamales. Tamales de lote, coach. Tamales de lote. For Christmas. <ríe> de pavo. <Yeah. ríe> ok. Ah, pero son tan ricos los tamalitos de lote. Mm, con cafecito. Dorados en margarina. Con crema. Con crema también. Ah, bien. <ríe> Y unos frijolitos moliditos. Me yo no he cenado. Ajá, yo diciéndole que no he cenado, ya me van a mandar para la cocina. Los voy a dejar acá trabajando a usted. The last class. Welcome to the last class. It was a pleasure. To work with you. I'm going to miss you a lot.
You are a very good group. <clears throat> Keep on working. Sigan echando ganas. Ahí me mandan el, el tamalito por un delivery. Tamalito de lote con crema. Vaya, coach. <ríe> Pero doradito. Súper doradito. Ready. Let's finish. And... Uh, we practiced this conversation yesterday, right? I remember. And we were practicing or we introduced quantifiers. So, and I told you that um, there you have a percentage, right? 100% and 0%, right? But the ones in the middle, they are not very exact, okay? They are not very exact. <clears throat> um, for example, a lot of can be let's say 50 percent can be mm -hmm. but let, let's do let's see give me a second i'm going to check which one is better hmm. okay yeah, let's do this one. So tr try to memorize, right? Try to keep in mind the percentage or approximately, because we're going to do this. It says you are going to change the percentage by or for the, the quantifier. In this case, you have 50%. In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. Now, which is the, the version using a quantifier? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give you an, exa an example. I have more practice in this case. What? I don't have the answer. Mm. I remember that I had the answer. So let's try this one. So it's, it's the same. In this case, you have 100% of the people are interested in learning Colombian cuisine. Now the quantifier for 100% is? All. All. Now, can you give me the complete sentence? Or do you want the example like this? All people, because it's 100%, all people are interested in learning Colombian cuisine. In number two, we have 
of Americans live in New York? Paulina? A few of Americans live in New York? Can be. Uh, can without, be. Without, um, no se le pone a antes del few. No. Yeah. Yes, por eso les decía que el porcentaje, según la, la tablita que tienen ahí, un, no es porcentaje certero, ¿verdad? Acá puede ser a few o few, ¿sí? Ambos podrían ser correctos, ¿ok? O sea, no es que el a few sea un 20% y few... Un 10%. Uh -huh. Están en el límite. Puede ser uno de los dos. ¿Sí? Ok. okay. So, por eso también ayer les decía que los únicos que en verdad son puntuales, son certeros, es el del 100. Porque ahí sí, ¿no? Todos. 100. Y el de cero, que es no one. Uh -huh. Pero obviamente... Obviamente, acá en el, en el 10% no va a poner, digamos, el nearly all o a lot of, sino que estra, estaría entre el límite, ¿no? Del a few o el few. Uh -huh. Let's continue with the practice. Number three, zero percent of people in my family believe that Santa Claus is real. No one. Okay. No, no one. one in my family believe that Santa Claus is real. <clears throat> okay. 95% of dogs are living in homes. Nearly all. Nearly all of dogs, most dogs. Igual, ¿no? O nearly all, or most, que están cerquita. Most dogs are living in homes. O nearly all dogs are living in homes. Now, 70% of cars in Colombia are black. Many? Can be many cars. Many cars in Colombia are black. 50% of books are translated into Chinese. A lot of. A lot of books are translated in, into Chinese. Can be. Yes, a lot of books are translated into Chinese. Y acá hay otro parecido que no lleva la A, como en el anterior, que es, que es lots, lots of. Lots no lleva la A, pero en lot lleva una S. Lots of books are translated into Chinese. Lots of book. Mm -hmm. Hazel? Eh, en ese 15%. No se podría decir también middle, o en qué caso se dice middle. Middle. La no. vista, ajá. Uh -huh. No, porque middle significa mitad, pero no en este sentido. En... Tomando el sentido que usted, que le entiendo, sería half. La mitad. Half. Half. Digamos acá. Hay. Digamos 30 estudiantes. Yo quiero decir la mitad de la clase. Aplazó. Un ejemplo. Entonces digo. Half. Half. Half the class. Failed. Incluso ahí no puedo decir middle, la mitad de la clase, middle. That's not possible. Uh -huh. 
You can say have. Yeah, okay. Have. Pero yeah. en algunas circunstancias. Acá no podría decirse eh, have the books. Mm, doesn't sound good. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's different. Okay. 30% of families are formed by five people. Thirty percent of families. Few, a few families. A, a few, few families. A few families are formed by five people. That's correct. Okay, now. You have some pictures, some photos, and sentences. All balls are basketballs. Most balls are basketballs. Some balls are basketballs. Which one is the best option or the correct option? All, most, or some? All, all, all balls. Yes. Oh. All balls, right? All balls are basketballs. In the second? Some balls are blue. Most balls are blue. Most or some? Some. Most. Most balls. <laughs> Some balls. Some. <laughs> ya ve, ahí es donde yo les digo, ¿no? Uh -huh. Está entre sí, most or some. Incluso yo hasta me puse a contarlas. Some. Some balls are blue. Sí, porque algunas son light blue. Uh -huh. Son purple. Oh. Tiende, sí. ajá. Y ahí es donde le, yo les digo, no, no necesariamente es el porcentaje es muy exacto. Eh, cualquiera diría most. Most balls are blue, but some balls. Y hay otros, o hay otras circunstancias donde sí, no, exactamente, no. Some. Let's see, more examples. Number three. Some balls. Some balls. Es como más, más notorio. Mm -hmm. Some balls are small. Four. Most. Most animals have four legs. Most. Mm -hmm. Most. Number five. Oh. Jane put flowers in all the vases. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Vases. Vases. That's correct. Jane put flowers in all of the vases. Yes, you see. Now, give me examples. Complete the sentences. Using your own information. Some of my relatives, relative means um, variantes, right? Relatives. Some of my relatives, I'm going to give you examples. Some of my relatives are religious, very religious. You, family members, few family members go to church. Most of my friends speak English. Most of my friends speak English. 
Few people in El Salvador speak English. I don't know. Few people in El Salvador speak English. No one in my family mm. live in China. Okay. No one in my family live in China. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, give me examples. Some of my family, my, no, my relatives living in USA. Okay. Mm -hmm. Most of my friends are fathers, fathers? Parents. Are parents. Parents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Few family members speak English. All right. Good. Few. Someone else? Most of my friends study English. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. And French. And French. Ah, parlez-vous. <laughs> hey, Paulina. Um, some of my relatives have dogs. Few family members had two dogs. Most of my friends have a pet. Few people in El Salvador have more than three dogs. No one in my family had cats. A lot of People in my neighborhood had more than two dogs. Okay. More than one dog. More than one dog. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in my neighborhood ya pusieron arbolito navideño. Okay. Thank you, Paulina. More examples? A lot of people in my neighborhood ya comenzaron Navidad. <laughs> yes. More examples. No one in my family celebrate Navidad but me. <laughs> no one it's in this case except me no uh, one in my family celebrates christmas except me okay. or or you can say but but me no one in my family celebrates christmas but me mm. wow okay uh-huh more, more examples. Existing en la iglesia. Ah. That's the reason. Menos yo. Usted es la que no va a la iglesia. Hmm. More examples. Most of my friends are women. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah, nearly all my friends are girls. Okay. Oh, that's my case, right? No sé. In my case, my friends, nearly all my friends are girls. Probably I have one or two friends that are boys, men, girl. Mm -hmm. But 
girls. I have a lot of friends who are girls. Uh -huh. More examples. <clears throat> Many people in my neighborhood are listening to Kidman music. Okay. Mm -hmm. No more. Few family members are traveling. Are traveling. A lot of people in my neighborhood is old. Are old. Are old, sorry. Oh, okay. Uy, solo viejito, baby. Okay, what else? Or oh, let's see. Few people in El Salvador know about now. Okay, yes, a few, very few people. Oops. Very few people. No more. There is another similar exercise. Uh, we finish this, right? Where is it? Okay, what about this one? Another similar exercise. 90%. 90% of children go to public schools. So, most children go to public schools. Few. The second sentence, few. Few children. Few children go to private schools. Okay. Ah, oh, private, private school. Private. Private school. Um, Sixty-two percent of young people go to college after they finish high school. The sentence with many Look for work. Look for work. Okay, but that's the second sentence. The first sentence with many. Many persons of people go to college, go to college. after finish high school. Many people. Uh-huh. Many people go to college after they finish high school. Uh huh. The second, some. Some, for some work. people look for work. Some people, some people look for work. Mm hmm. And in, in this case, teacher. 
pudiera ser some person o some person people go to after the in this high school. Some percent. Some percent. No, no son. Uh, no en esta oración. No. Podría haber unos casos en que se puede usar el sum o un quantifier con la palabra percent, pero no en este caso. Okay. Y, y justamente eso es lo que estamos practicando. Si se dan cuenta, esas palabras siempre van acompañadas, digamos, del sujeto. O de un nombre. Si ven, most children, few people, a lot of students, some students, eh, a few bananas. Okay? Siempre menciona el algo, excepto el no one. El no one puede ir solito en la oración. No one in the class speak Chinese. El no one no puede acompañar a, a, otra, a otro nombre o sujeto, como decir, no one people, no one students, no one children. Uh -uh. En este caso, no one iría solito. Y eso sería el sujeto. No one speaks French. No one works on Sunday. No one live, no one celebrates Christmas in my family. No one speaks Mandarin in my family. Okay? El no one. No one. Okay, now let's complete this paragraph. In my country, some couples get married fairly young. Not many marriages. And you have to choose one word in parentheses. Let me. Mm -hmm. Not many marriages stay, stay together. Stay together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not many marriages stay together. And nearly all married. And nearly all. Divorce. Single. Mm, and nearly all. No, yes. Remarry? Div yes, divorce. Divorce is better. And nearly all divorced people remarry. Yeah, you are correct, Paulina. Mm -hmm. Divorced. Divorced people remarry. Elderly couples often divorce the kid. But it says and live at home. Yes. And take care of That's it. Mm -hmm. Elderly couples often live at home and take care of their grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Next, complete these sentences about your country, about El Salvador. Use the words in the box. All, a lot of, few, most, nearly all, no, and some. Oops. Number one. 
Which one? Most. Most. Most young people. Or a lot of. Diría yo, ¿no? Aquí es igual, ¿no? Un punto de vista. A lot of young people go to college. O al menos porque es lo que veo yo, que están topadas acá, al menos en Santa Ana, las universidades están topadas. Ok, porque college, algo aclarar, college es universidad, porque tiende a confundir que college es colegio. No, college is or means university. So a lot of young people go to college or a lot of young people go to universities. Mm -hmm. And here in Santa Ana, the universities are crowded. A lot of students in the university. Number two. Some people? Few or some study English? Mm -hmm. Few. Some people. Few. Few. Yes, few people. few people study English in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Three. Some. 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 Mm -hmm. Or few, probably. Few. Few married couples have more than five children. I, sure. I, yes. Uh, un punto de vista nomás. Mm -hmm. mm, pienso que en eh, bueno si vamos a decir de Salvador, verdad. Eh, ya hay un ya hay un muchos personas que queremos estudiar inglés y y es importante. Entonces, para mí, la dos es son. O sea, quizá en el contexto que hablemos, ¿verdad? Podemos decir que, que muchas personas estudian inglés. Ajá, y es... Y hacer. Por eso mismo, yo les decía que el porcentaje que aparece en la tablita no es justamente muy acertada o muy... Eh, puntual, ¿no? Eh, es un, un punto de vista en algunos. A excepción, les dije, del all, porque ahí sí, ¿no? Si tenemos el, el que todo, sabemos que es todo, pues va vale. a ser todo. Y el, el cero, ¿no? Si sabemos que nadie, pues nadie. Pero luego, entre los que estamos viendo, puede caer en, como lo dijo, ¿no? En opiniones. Uh -huh. okay. Puede variar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Por lo menos en la tres. Few married couples have more than five children. My perception, lo que yo percibo es que hoy parejas casadas. Pocos. Yes. Pocos tienen. Hoy usualmente yes. dos, dos, tres. No como antes, o ¿no? O no quieren tener. O no, exactamente. Pero en... Tiempos anteriores, sí, no era muy Ten, común. Five, six, seven. <ríe> Ajá, cuando no había televisor, dice. <ríe> Ajá, a lot of children. Yes, because my mother, my mother has nine siblings. O sea, eran diez, imagínense. My grandparents had 10 children. My father, my father has four. So they are five children. Mm -hmm. In old times, it was very common. Five and more children. Yeah. So number four, elderly people have part-time jobs. Elderly people, some. some can be 
y aquí igual eh, sería como una percepción, ¿no? Elderly, eh, ¿qué punto vamos a llamar elderly? Porque elderly sería como ya personas eh, ancianas, Ajá. mayores. Uh -huh. Entonces, incluso podría ser tal vez few, porque yo no sé si se han dado cuenta. Yo he visto hoy en los supermercados que, que le dan la oportunidad a, a, a personas mayores, por no okay. decir ya ancianos, embolsando. Ahí están con las cajeras, no embolsando los productos. So, incluso puede ser few. Few elderly people have part-time jobs. Mm -hmm. Five, students have full-time jobs. <clears throat> What do you think? No. You, some, mm, few students have full-time jobs, few. Mm -hmm. Six, children go to school on Saturdays. No, no. No? Mm -hmm. No children go to school on Saturdays. Okay. Now, we are going to do this. In this exercise, give me a second. Let's see. Mm, how it works because in this case I need your help because I'm going to ask these questions and you have to you are not going to answer okay um, I'm going to ask the questions and you um, show your thumb Yes, and yes. you are going to count how many thumbs, and then you are going to tell me the answer. Uh, for example, let's do number one. How many of you work? How many of you work? Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, but show me your thumb. Acá quiero que me muestren el 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 icono, el 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 thumb. Pongan el pongan dejen en activo el 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 icono, el thumb. Y vamos a contar. El primero que cuente me va a decir, ah, some, some classmates work. Yes, or a lot of classmates work. Pero tenemos que ver um, el pulgar en pantalla. Uh -huh. Al menos yo alcancé a ver cuatro. Bueno, yo también. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Vi como cinco, seis. Few. Few. Ajá. Porque se supone somos... 20, 28 de 28 alcancé a ver a 6 entonces diríamos a few 
a few classmates work. Pocos compañeros de clase trabajan. Few, a few classmates work. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Next question. How many of your classmates are university students? How many university students? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. Six. No sé si estoy contando de más. Six. So, the es, answer... Perdón, teacher, si es que me equivoco. Es que si está estudiando en la universidad actualmente o que ha estudiado en la universidad. No, y dice que son estudiantes universitarios. Son. Are oh, university okay. students. Mm -hmm. Right now, yes. It says how many of your classmates are university students. Estu es que está la doble S, así se abrevia estudiantes. Entonces, ¿cuántos son estudiantes universitarios? Mm -hmm. The answer? Some? Some. Can be. Some. Some classmates are university students. Some classmates. Mm -hmm. And uh, now let's see. How many girls are there in the class? Uh -huh. How many girls? A lot. A lot of girls. Porque hay más... Uh, 19. 19 girls. Yes. Uh -huh. A lot of girls. Mm -hmm. And how many boys? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seven. So, some, some classmates are <laughs> boys. How many are you single? Aha, uh -huh, that's a good question. Vamos a ver. How many of you are single? Aha. Uh -huh. Veamos, como dicen, levanten la mano los solteros. How many of you are single? ¿Mm? Todo, todos son casados. No one. All the students are married. No. No. Seriously. <laughs> Not teacher. Como no me ponen ahí la manita o el pulgar. Okay, Christian is single. Griselda is single. No more. Okay. Some, no, a few. A few students are single. Right? A few. A few students are single. So the opposite, <laughs> nearly all, right? 
nearly all are married. Wow. Not all married. Huh? Nearly all are married. Nearly all. <gasps> okay. Good. Now, how many of you have children? There's a mistake there. How many of you have children? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. So, a few. Mm -hmm. Lo estamos viendo con, somos como 28, creo, ¿no? So, a few. A few English students have children. Okay, that's nice. A another question. ¿Alguna pregunta que agreguemos a la encuesta que quisieran saber de los compañeros? How many of you have pets? Oh, how many of you have pets? I have a pet, two pets, a dog and a cat. Mm -hmm. Many. Okay. Many students have pet. Many students have pet. Okay. Good. Another question. How many of you How many of you go to the gym? Or how many of you do exercise? Uh -huh. A few, few students do exercise. <gasps> okay. Another question. Visit be nice. Visit? La nueva biblioteca. Oh. How many? No, not yet. No, yet. Mm -hmm. No more. Another interesting question. Uh, yo, teacher, quería uh -huh. how many of you visit El Pital? Mm. Siempre he querido ir, nunca he podido. Only one. Few. Few classmates visit El Pital. How many of you are going to continue in the uh, class, in the 
English class. Uh, classes? Good In question. English class? Good question. How many of you <laughs> are going to continue your English classes? Okay. Mo mm, a lot. A lot of students are going to continue classes. A lot. Okay, cool. Uh, fue en este grupo una pregunta que hicieron. ¿Cuántos quieren que yo siga en el grupo? <laughs> that, that was the question. Algunos dijeron que no. Ajá. Let's see. Levanta la mano. Oh, good. Good. All. Near, all. Nearly all. All. Absolutely all. I like it. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's that's really good. One more question because I'm going to take attendance. No more questions. No more teacher. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance. <clears throat> o podría ser la última de, de qué lugar son. ¿Cuál es la última? Que en su mayoría de qué lugar son. Ah, oh, pero ahí la pregunta sería distinta. Ahí no, no, no. Oriente. Ajá, y esa es la respuesta. No cabe, la pregunta no, no da para responder con most, nearly all, sino que tendríamos que escucharlos a uno por uno para saber, ah, tantos son de Santa Ana, tantos. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, but ya sé. Curiosidad buena. Ok, Rivas, Alma, Patricia. Present, teacher. Mm. Soy de La Paz. Oh, ok. Camila, Lisset. Cristian, Adalberto. Present, teacher. Doris. Present, teacher. Estela. Ok. ¿De dónde Eva. Yo de La Paz. Ya somos dos. Eva, Alicia. Griselda. Present teacher. Herbert. Hazel. Present Jenny, teacher. Jennifer. Present teacher. Jose David. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Luis. I'm here, teacher. Joshua. Here, teacher. Carla Patricia. Here. Katia Verónica. Present teacher. Liliana. Present teacher. Luis Alberto. <clears throat> Present teacher. Luis Antonio. Present teacher. Nidia. Present teacher. Nuria. Presente. Oswaldo. Paulina. Present. Rosa. 
Present teacher. Sandra. Present. Sarina. Present. Sonia. Present teacher. And Tatiana Maria. Present. Nice. Nadia is de Santa Ana. Yo soy de Huachapán. <laughs> oh, very close. Cool. De Texas, Tepec. Santa Ana. Oh, Texas. That's good. Okay, guys. Comments, the last comments, questions. Thank, Thank you, you for everything. Teacher. Gracias, teacher, por las clases. I'm nostalgic, teacher. was a pleasure. It was really nice to work with you guys. I liked it. Enjoy. I enjoyed it a lot. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, me too. Nice. So, thank you. Sonsonata, Armenia. Thank wow. you, guys. <laughs> thank you very much. I hope to see you in the future. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much, much teacher. Thank Thanks for everything. Okay. Okay. Thanks for nice. everything. Thank you, Paulina. Nice. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you, everyone. Thank nice you. Bye. Bye. See you, everyone. Ojalá nos volvamos a a encontrar en otro módulo, teacher. Ojalá que sí. Un gusto haber compartido con todos. Yes. Ojalá que sí, nos vemos en el próximo grupo. Igual. Bye. Adiós. Good night, everyone. Cuídense, buenas noches. Night. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas for you Thank too, you, teacher. teacher. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.